Hello everyone, my name is Michael S.K. and welcome back to 9 Episode 2. The last episode was composed of trying to get a little closer to Kosuka Senpai, which was working until it wasn't, because then her other personality came out, which I'm not sure is related to her powers, but definitely has something to do with the, uh, the whole charming deal. Uh, her other personality definitely does something with that whole charming others and, and luring them in and then they do their bidding or whatever. So that is definitely a fact. We just don't know additional details. And according to her, we're close, but no cigar yet. We almost have the idea of what her powers are, but we're not there yet. I don't know what's going to be happening here because, well, we kind of failed. But there is still a possibility that we could get her to be an ally because it doesn't seem like she truly wants to be a part of that group. But her other personality, on the other hand, I don't know. Stifling a yawn, I walk to school. I find Sora waiting for me at the usual spot. When she sees me, she smiles and waves. Oh, Sora takes a small package out of her bag and hands it to me. This doesn't necessarily make up for it though, does it? I, I would say no. I'd finally forgotten and now the depression hits me all over again. At least I got lunch out of it. あ、買っといてよかったよ。私のお弁当箱っぽいから多分足りないよ。なんでお前の捨てちゃった。俺のお弁当箱もか。プラもだけじゃなく。Man. we should really just not go back. That whole family seems to be really toxic. Sighing, I stow the lunchbox in my bag and continue to walk. Sora falls into step beside me. ミニマリスト私もとも困ってるんですよ。なんで急にそんなのにハマったんだ?どうせテレビとかでしょ。影響受けやすいからな。うちのおかん。そのうち飽きると思うけど、まあ、あれだよね。飽きたところでニーニー
It could be. It's kind of obvious, but I'm just going to point it out. Sora's voice actor really has range. ニーニーはあれだよ。ハーレムマンガの主人公みたい。ミャオコ先輩でしょ、ハルカ先輩でしょ、そしてあたしとか言ったらぶっ飛ばすぞ。あた、おい、こら、先回りすんな、こら。お
朝の違う夜夜そうそう遊びに行くにもご飯にも遅いよね女の子の都合がつかないのかなどうだろうなあとね待ち合わせ場所もおかしいんだよね、oh, there you go. 神社だよ神社 I'm so good at this game つくも神社かそうそう女の子の家が近いのかなって納得はしてるけどまあそれに連夜だし微妙にずれてるんだよなあいつ神社で何すんだ知らない僕は軽くお茶に行くつもりだけどもしかしたら聖地でアニメの話でもしたいのかもねお前興味ないだろうまあねでも適当に合わせちゃったからな女の子紹介してほしくて自分も大好きってっていうかなんていうかまさかお前もあなんだっけなあユーザーユーザーだったとはとか言われてさ、well, a user in a much different sense maybe ついそうなんだよユーザーなんだよ、oh、って言っちゃった Dude, please what the fuck ついそうついあれでしょユーザーってメビウスのみたいだなサイトやってるのは知ってたけどまさかあそこまでハマってるなんて思わなかったな Oh, brother, you don't even know the half of it. It's crazy. Yuichi casually puts away his phone and bites into his sandwich. Crap, Takamine doesn't think he arranged a meeting to catch up with an old friend. He's trying to recruit Yuichi. And if Takamine finds out Yuichi was lying about being a user. かけるも食べたらせっかくのお弁当ああそうだった I was so engrossed in Yuichi's story that I forgot to eat also I thought I clicked but I guess I didn't and I put my hands together in a quick prayer and opened my lunchbox figures どうし二段とも白米なんだが Wow コンビニのパンでご飯を食べろってことかな Wow 鬼かよきっと妹ちゃんのお弁当おかずオンリーになってるね取り替えてくるはいはい行ってらっしゃい I close up my lunchbox and head outside Okay like white rice is fine but like have something with it not something to mix in with the white rice unless I guess if you really want to but like just have something with it like like a vegetable or something anything Sora seems to have noticed the mix up as well as I run into her halfway to the courtyard. Unfortunately, she ate through most of it already. Jesus Christ. So I end up with,、uh, or all I end up with is a lone omelet to go with my rice. Well, we tried. We tried, right? I think. After school, I head to Nine Ball with Sora so the group can exchange information again. As usual, Kujo's got work, so we'll be filling her in over Lime later. So, Yuki says over a bite of chocolate syrup coated whipped cream. God damn. From the sound of it, she still hasn't been able to discover anything about the hooded girl. Though this is a fantastic chance to learn more about her, Yuki seems to have the same misgivings I do. でも、幼なじみなんでしょ私らみたいにいきなり押そうとしたりはしないんじゃないそう思いたいがな。高峰のこともフードの女のことも、俺たちは知らなさすぎる。そうね。そうに違いないと決めつけるのは、あまりにも軽率ね。どうすんのこっそり近くで見守るとこ Well, I don't think that'll work because、uh, What's Her Face was able to discover Sora right away. So, I don't know what I'm doing. Sora no no look at the two years in a show. Sneaking the Momuskashi de Shone. So, Conan Diana. Dakara, Sophie ni Makasaru Kotonista. Sophie? Oh, yeah, she actually doesn't know about Sophie yet. Yuki's spoon stops halfway to her mouth and she gives me a suspicious glare. Come to think of it, I haven't told her about Sophie yet. Ah, I'm not sure if I'm a person. 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 
I guess even someone with as active as an uh, imagination, excuse me, as Yuki, is having a hard time swallowing this. Or so I thought. Thank you, Chuni Brain. Sora tries to repeat the strange word. I guess Yuki managed to retcon Sophie into her headcanon. What if she's actually onto something? Well, I'm glad it didn't take much convincing uh, for her to, to believe me, but I'm worried she might go off on another rant any second now. Also, calling Sophie a sprite is an insult to sprites. She's nowhere near that cute. そのはず。高みなのことも Sora fishes around in her bag for her phone, and then starts tapping away furiously. While Sora is pulling up whatever she needs to, Yuki demolishes her parfait and raises a hand to call Kujo over. Kujo bows politely, takes my empty glass and Yuki's empty parfait cup and puts them on her tray and heads to the kitchen. I watch her go and then turn around just as Sora finishes her preparations. She puts her phone down in the middle of the table. Yuki and I lean forward to get a better look. This says that she can't control her power very well. あ、自分で書いたって。ニーニがさ、ほら、敵対するよりそのままの方がって言ったじゃん。ああ。怖いから書いちゃったって。あと、司令官が転作してるって。転作ね。先ほどの件といい、仲間探しに本腰を入れ
何かある今は仕事に集中した方がいいあそそうでした今日の話後でまとめて送りますせうんお願いしますあいらっしゃいませ Kujo hurries off to seat another customer そら他に何かあるかうん終わりひとまずは明日ねゴールデンウィークまでに彼らが石化事件の犯人であるとその確証を得たい so, just to verify two incidents have occurred so far、uh, the first wait have two occurred so far I don't remember or maybe it was just one ah、oh, man I can't remember I do remember that in the first episode there was an incident that was kind of just glared over as we continued along. I don't know if that incident has occurred yet. I would highly doubt it. Yuki sips her tea. Then, after a deep breath, she says, I guess I'll roll with it. But yeah, you can kind of argue that it's a little hypocritical. Confused Sora looks to me for help. As always, she's speaking in grandiose fashion. But there's a possibility she's serious, and that scares me. I can't afford to write it off as one of Yuki's edgy but empty pronouncements. I get the feeling Yuki has her own personal reasons for supporting us, a private motivation for chasing after those who misuse their powers. もう話すことがないのなら今日の会議は終わりねああそうだなニーニーここでご飯食べてくいやまだ早いし後で別のところで食べるそっかじゃあ私はうちで食べよ今のうちに弁当箱返しておくおは,はいはいあ軽い完食したのふりかけのおかげでなんとかなった私お腹空すいちゃってさやっぱり炭水化物ないとダメだねおかずだけじゃダメだお前よく俺にそんなこと言えるなお米美味しかったん美味しかった Jesus Christ そろそろ本当にぶん殴るぞお前あコーラなくなっちゃったジンジャーエールちょっとちょうだい I have a feeling that in a lot of cases here those who were translating and localizing this had a lot of fun ああもうお前イライラするお前すんげえイライラする<笑> Yuki quietly sips her tea uninterested in our sibling quarrel We haven't really come together as a team yet, but time waits for no one. Whatever's coming our way, this is the crew we've got to work, or that we've got to work with. And I haven't forgotten that hooded girl's threat. I need to figure out something out and fast. I don't know if we'll figure anything out in this game, but who knows? I see Sora off at the station, scrounge up dinner, and return home. Throwing my bag down, I turn to an empty part of my room. Sophie! And there she is, ready to go. You gonna give us some information? The space in front of me immediately warps, and Sophie appears, creepy smile and all. どうやってそれはこれから決める適当ねまあいいわその心意気は褒めてあげる他には終わりそうじゃあまた明日。た Alright With that curt farewell Sophie disappears I guess all that's left is to wait for her report If Sophie is able to confirm that either Takamine or the Hooded Girl is the user of the evil eye, then it'll be time for a showdown. We'll use Kujo's ability to steal their artifacts and render them powerless. I just wish there was some way I can contribute to the plan. Maybe I should just make myself a meat shield? Is that really all I can do? <laughs> I flop down onto my bed and idly gaze at the palm of my hand. I have never yet seen a stigma on me, and it doesn't look like one will show up anytime soon. I'm starting to doubt that I'm a real user at all. Wait, who the fuck is here? I hear a noise near the entrance and lift my head. There's the clicking sound of someone unlocking my door, and then a dull thud as they open and close it. Wait, was it left unlocked? 
or did they unlock it themselves? Tadaima. Well, there we go. I guess it doesn't fucking matter. Wait, why is she here? Dressed in her casual clothes, Sora walks into my living room. She's carrying a bulging backpack. Somehow, I doubt there's a present for me. She drops the backpack and settles down. She's planning to stay over again, isn't she? Okay, I'm very forgetful, but I do not remember that promise. そんな約束してねえよ。Oh, come on. No, well, not all guys, but yeah. わ、広きな折り上がった。てか、てかさ、兄に迷子先輩好きなんちゃうんですか?なんなんすか?浮気すか?いや、浮気とかお前付き合ってないし。そもそもさ、それとこれとは話がさ、別じゃん?は、別何
Ms. Narase concluded that Iris came to be worshipped as a snake god because, at the time, the indigenous people worshipped snakes. Apparently, Shiromitsugawa's original residents believed snakes had the power to control water. Considering that similar spirit worship is prevalent all across Japan, it would make sense. Hence why Iris, a resident of another world who possessed superpowers, became the Great White Serpent. The land on which the shrine was built was previously a sacred site. Once upon a time, the story goes, people who wandered into that area were whisked away to the underworld, never to return. According to Ms. Narase's documents, people often did go missing from this particular area, so she suspects the rumors started as a means of keeping folks away from danger. However, I think there's a different reason. My guess is this pl this my guess is this place is where it's easiest to link our world to Sophie's, excuse me. Sometimes I just can't talk. Which is why when disaster struck centuries ago, Iris gave Ms. Narose's ancestors the sacred relic as a way of keeping the gate firmly closed and preventing any future problems. The relic succeeded in keeping the world separate, but now that it's broken, they're linked again. I guess history is doomed to repeat itself. To be honest, while I've been I've been going with the flow and just accepting things as they happen, my logical side has been a little skeptical about whether any of this is real, probably because my own powers haven't manifested themselves. But after reading through these historical records, my lingering doubts have vanished. That said, knowing this isn't all some grand hallucination, or that this isn't all some grand hallucination won't bring me any closer to solving this case, excuse me. Rubbing my tired eyes, I drop the stack of documents onto the table. Sora sitting across from me is staring intently into her cup. She lifts up her cup a little. With her free hand, she takes out her phone and puts it next to the cup. She then pulls my glass and phone, which are sitting on the table, over to her. Folding her arms, she glares down at the two cups and phones. いつも she takes my glass, her cup, and the phones and spreads them all out across the table. She picks up her phone and brings it close to her cup again. うん。つまりですね。私が操作しているものの she gathers together the uh, stuff on the table. なるほど。
Oh, no, no, you're good. But what I think the case is, is that Kakadu and Ghost, or whoever she is, they have the same thing going on, I guess you could say. I don't know if you want to call it a power, but something deep inside is allowing them to bypass Sora's power, which means there might be some more, I don't know, things going on with people that allow them to also be invulnerable to other people's powers and the effects of them. All right, goodbye. Sora flops backward onto the floor. I mean, it's not like I'm contributing much myself. Well, leaving that aside, I remember Sophie did mention something about impedance before. I guess if you have a lot of that, Sora's powers won't work? I really should have asked Sophie more about it when I had the chance. I need to make sure to bring it up before we have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those guys. Uh, so Sora turns her back to me and hikes up her, her shirt. Oi, Excuse me. What are you doing? Look, look, stigma. Oh. Yes, it's coming. It's not big. I stare at the pattern on Sora's back. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so in the epilogue on episode one, uh, yeah, Kujo's most definitely got larger. Sora straightens out her clothes and then turns to me. How the hell am I supposed to know anything about a womanly heart? うん。大きくね。成長してるってことでいいのかな。多分そういうことなんだろうが。これもソフィーに Oh, yes, yeah, speak of her enough. The space above the table warps. I was thinking about calling her, so I guess this saves time, but man, weird for her to show up that quick. She's probably got something she wants to ask us, or maybe she's got a report to make. The plushie with a creepy smile pokes its head out of the dimensional rift in my living room. Hi, konnichiwa. Alright, I think this is a good place to end it, because I don't want to deal with her shit right now. I do feel like we're getting a little bit of a, well, maybe not an information dump, but we are gathering information. It's good to be, uh, to be fully focused and all. Plus, I have something I have to, uh, attend to very shortly, so... Probably best to cut it off here. I mean, it's all interesting, don't get me wrong, but yeah, there's a lot of... I don't know if you want to call them moving parts. There's a lot of things that we still don't know, a lot of things that we're still learning about, a lot of questions to be asked, so... I don't know. I mean, it's all interesting, don't get me wrong. It's just, I don't know what to believe, I don't know what to think. But a lot of things are lining up with what we saw in Episode 1, such as the restraints and also effectiveness of Sora's powers... We saw that all in episode one whenever we were uh, sneaking around uh, Kosaka Senpai. But now we're learning about how I guess some people can just totally get around her powers, which hopefully we learn a little bit more about in the next video. Thank you all for watching this one. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz, and I will see you all next time. Take it easy.